There are six steps to the inner bonding process. And the first step is learning to be in touch with your feelings and the willingness to feel your pain and take responsibility for your pain rather than be a victim. And step two is learning to move into an intention to learn. In inner bonding, there's only two intentions. One is to protect against pain and the other is to learn about loving yourself and others. So in step two, you're taken through processes to help you move into an intention to learn. Step three is an in-depth dialogue process where you're dialoguing with your feelings about what you may be doing to cause your pain, what's happening external to you with other people, with situations that may be causing your pain. So you're getting a clear understanding of your belief system that may be hurting you, your belief systems, and what other people may be doing or situations. And in step four, you're learning to turn to a personal source of spiritual guidance. We train you to do that in the inner bonding process, how to access that personal source of guidance. And when you access your guidance, you're accessing the truth about the false beliefs that you have and the loving action towards yourself. And then in step five, you take the loving action, which is essential for healing the pain that's within you. And in step six, you then evaluate how are you feeling as a result of this loving action. When you start to practice inner bonding, not only do you learn to tap into a spiritual source of energy, but now you're no longer wasting your energy on trying to get something external that is never going to work. You're learning to spend your energy on taking loving care of yourself and sharing that love with others.